Many of you guys like to hear stories. Well, Chrysalis Dota is a little different storyteller. We love Dota, and we love to articulate perspectives. We like to give you guys the truth. Without going any deeper, here is the story of S Triple C. Do you remember that little kid on the neighborhood that was never able to play with the big boys? The boys would laugh and make fun of him because he was short, because he was weak, and because they simply didn't want to use him. They didn't need him. Being that little guy or the one that nobody pays attention to at the beginning can be quite difficult and it can certainly put a lot of pressure. Yes, this is the story of S Triple C. He is the player that had to rise from the bottom all the way to the top. S Triple C started playing just at 2015 with Newbie Young. Within the team, there was never really a tight bond between the partners, and it always seemed like a new replacement was being put. The team participated in many tournaments, only to fail at every single one. But SCC never wavered, nor did he give up Dota. He continued to play and dream about one day performing on the big stage. He had dreams of playing with the big boys of the neighborhood. Eventually, his time would come. 2016. SCC, because of his determination, his strong will, his perseverance, the big boys decided to give him a promotion. Newbie's main squad decided to pick up S Triple C. He was now onto the main stage and he was named the star of the show. SCC became the second player in China to reach 9k MMR. Because of his solo skill set and his determination, Newbie Main decided to simply build around him, and results did not start immediately. So the pain and the struggles of SCC would continue. He had to persevere, he had to endure all the problems that the little kid in the neighborhood has to endure. After a few roster adjustments and team practices on 2017, SCCC's true reign began. In fact, during that year, he would lead his newbie squad to three second placement in three different premier tournaments. And he would help the team come in first in three other tournaments. Playing alongside with Faith, who continues to guide SCCC, he was able to lead his team to second placement at TI7, only falling short to the nearly invincible squad team Liquid. Nevertheless, this is the key point. Remember, during 2017, it marked a big day. SCC's again was faced with big tension and burdens. Despite winning multiple tournaments, and despite working so hard over the years, he was still a little brother. Even though China had chosen him to be playing with the big boys, the world had not. Although SCC was ranked 9k MMR, he did not have the respect that Miracle, Matumba, GH, and others had. He did not have that aura about him, that fear that people were knowingly scared of him. He did not have that. So second placement in TI7 was not enough. However, SCC, like the little kid in the neighborhood, was still determined more than ever to prove not just the neighborhood kids wrong, but now the world wrong. Eventually, on January 28, 2018, he would surely and prominently get his second chance to redeem himself. In ESL 1 Genting 2018, SCC went head to head, toe to toe, blow for blow against Liquid Miracle, who was the renowned MMR king and the best carry of the world. SCC said enough is enough and I am not being treated like a kid anymore. He went in from the start with the big punch and did not wave. In fact, he went in with a dynamic introduction, picking Outworld Devourer and dominating. Then throughout the entire tournament, having a strong team around him, SCC was able to finally come victorious against a seemingly invincible Team Liquid, the team that had been the biggest hurdle of Team Newbie. SCC's carrying playstyle had overwhelmed Team Liquid. Even on a post afterwards, Liquid GH tweeted, the better team won. This was the moment of the truth. This was a stamp, a solidification that SCCC had arrived. He had taken the throne. He had now become the best carry of the world and had led Team Newbie to beat the former TI7 champs. As of February 1st, 2018, Team Newbie are the best Dota team of the world. Now, 
SCC is not as seen as a little kid anymore. No, he is not. He's not that little bro anymore. He is a true king. In fact, he runs the park. He runs the Dota world. What will the future of Dota hold? Will SCC continue to have more success? Or will another prodigy make his appearance? Until next time, this is Crystalis Dota. Out. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel to hear more stories like this. I love telling stories. I love getting perspectives. And I truly, truly like doing research about these players because I love Dota. Anyways, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'm out.